Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be roughly ranking all of the holiday face palettes that have come out this year. I feel like more have come out in the past. This year was a, it's a little bit drier in that area, heavy in the eyeshadows. But no, I mean, I've picked up a good number and there's honestly inconsistencies this year. There was There's some that I really don't recommend <laughs> and there's a few that I really, really, really love. Now, what's difficult with ranking face palettes is that there they're all kind of different. You know, I have a few all highlight, all blush, and then I also have some that are just blush and highlight, some that's all you need. So that's why it's a rough ranking because like how, you know? Like I'm looking and most of the completely dedicated palettes to one certain type of product are towards the bottom. Maybe that's more boring for me. I don't know, but anyways, let's get into it. Side note, if you did want to see a guide to the holiday eyeshadow palettes videos, that's going to be up as well. I'm filming these on the same day. Just made sense. So, <laughs> yeah. So my least favorite holiday face palette that came out this year, this is number eight, is the Fenty Beauty Diamond Balm Triple Drip. Now, this is very personal because if you like this Diamond Veil formulation, you might very well enjoy this palette, but I, I don't like the formulation in the first place. I got this sent to me in PR, so that's why I have to talk about it with you today, but I wasn't gonna pick it up otherwise. But I mean, the eyeshadow palette that came with this holiday launch as well, I didn't like, so let's this launch all together was kind of a fail for me. In here you are going to get three of the powder, whatever these are, Fussy, Fenty Glow, and Hot Chocolate. So if you're not familiar with this formulation, it's kind of like a putty formula. I, I, I typically don't like putty formulas, but you don't get too much from these, you know? It's like almost a clear base with just some glitter. And in that case, it almost made it just not necessary to have three. I did use like this shade all over my lid and it was pretty, you know? It added a soft, subtle glitter, but it certainly is not worth the price in my opinion. I mean, if you like this formula, then your opinions are definitely going to be very different on this. But for me, it's just an overpriced palette of like a shimmer topper, which I have lots of in my collection. I like to use this on my body more so, I would say, to get that glimmer in the sun. But yeah, this to me, I'm not into it. It's not worth it. Not a product that I like. Moving on to number seven. Oh my gosh. Normally these rank a lot higher, but I just didn't like this year's. So this is the NARS blush palette that came out this year for the holidays. This is the high profile cheek palette and it's it's not unusable. The formulation isn't that bad. It's just that there are five blushes in here and they all look the same on the cheek to me. And also I do have a little bit of trouble picking up some color from here. I have a lot of NARS palettes and this is the worst of them. <laughs> All, all the other ones and all the other formulations that I have from NARS are like top of the line. That's why I buy these every year. They just took a big step backwards with this palette. I don't really recommend it. There are much better blush palettes that came out this holiday season. And like I said, it looks fine on the cheek once you get it on there. But what's the point of paying a big dollar amount for multiple shades in one palette when they're all gonna look the same on your face? That takes away the purpose of buying a palette. You know, why didn't I just buy one individual blush if they weren't gonna look different on the cheek? So that's one of my biggest pet peeves about blush palettes. And one of the things that I look for is, do the shades look different on the cheek? And with this, they didn't. I think there just wasn't enough pigment in these or something. I don't know. I don't recommend it. Moving on to number six. This palette isn't bad. I think it's just boring. <laughs> but this is from MAC. This is their holiday Step Bright Up Extra Dimension Skin Finish Palette. They do have this in a deeper shade. I picked up the lighter shade. Really needs packaging very very nostalgic the collection is like a hypnotizing collection honestly I get a little sick looking at it quality of the highlighters in here are really really nice I think Mac does a great highlight formula especially nowadays I do prefer something more subtle so this formulation is perfect for me so right now I'm actually wearing the pink shade here on my cheek and you guys I love this formula it looks super smooth on the face blended beautifully in with the other products that I'm wearing this is the 
exact kind of formula that I look for in a highlight. So I'm very happy with this. The only reason it's ranking lower is highlight doesn't excite me as much anymore, period. I have so many highlights in my collection, so this was not a need. And if you like a blinding formula, I don't think that you will <laughs> like this palette. If you're like me and you like that subtle glow from within, not metallic, just glowy, I think that you will really like this formula. So formula is A+. plus. Very, very happy that I have it, but it's probably not a must-have. It's nothing that I was living, dying, breathing, had to have for the holiday season, but it, it's good. They make good formulas. Moving on to number five. This is the newest item that's recently entered my collection. Maybe it was the MAC, but it's still one of the newer ones. One of the ones that I've used the fewest number of times. So this is from Melt Cosmetics, and this is the Monarca, Monarca <laughs> blush palette. Anyways, this is a good little palette. So I'm actually wearing this right now, and why I love this is I feel like the colors are really great to mix. I think she added a great array of colors here right now. I am wearing this shade to get a pinky flush, but I mixed it in with a little bit of this shade to get more of a hot pink pop. Now this shade is a little bit powdery, so just be aware of that. And it packs a punch, so you go really, really light, especially if you're around my skin tone. And then I mixed in a little bit of this shade just to add a glow to the cheek, which was the thought with this palette. You're supposed to mix and match. You can have a matte cheek, you can mix it in with the shimmer shades to get a shimmer look, and I love that. The quality of the blushes is very nice. It's just a good, solid blush palette. I mean, I'm not living, dying, breathing for this one. It's not my favorite formula in the world, but also isn't a bad formula at all. It's really, really nice. If you like Melt Cosmetics, I think you will like this. I don't think it's a must-have, though, for me personally. Uh, but I don't have anything bad to say about it. It's, it's just a blush palette. It's way better than the NARS, I'll tell you that. I recommend this a hundred times over, but if the meaning of the collection means something to you, I do recommend recommend this a lot more. I think you'll appreciate it more, but it's a solid blush palette. And by the way, I love the warm toned colors that they added. Really pretty. So I do like this a lot. It's just not as exciting to me as the other ones I'm going to talk about next, but nothing bad to say. Number four, I don't even know if this is a holiday collection, but I wanted to throw this in because it kind of fits in with all of the products that I'm talking about. This is from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Nude Gasm Face Palette. This is very close with that Melt Palette I just showed you. It's between between those two, it could be flopped and I wouldn't feel uncomfortable. But this little guy is so good if you like a glowy cheek. So for my skin tone, I do like to mix these two together because this can be a little bit muddy on me. My demo, I did accidentally press too hard in this shade and it, I had to like kind of push some of it out. But I do like the quality on these. This is much better than the first cheek palette that they came out with. Then you have kind of like a shimmery blush, which is very pretty and a beautiful, beautiful highlight. I mean, part of this for me is the experience. I love the aesthetic of it. I like to grab for it just because of how pretty it looks, how shimmery it looks. You have to like a glowy palette to enjoy this. And now I'm looking at the melt and I think I might like the melt a little bit better than this. It just depends what kind of look you're going for. Like this, I love this, but I do feel limited by this in some ways. Like, I might want to grab into another palette to get, like, a matte blush or something. The ranking's not that important. I think this is nice. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. It's nice, but it is only a four-color palette. But I like it. I mean, it still is a full cheek palette. I don't think it's for everybody, though. But if you like glowiness, you'll like it. Okay, let's move on to number three. This isn't mine. I already owned these products individually. This is my mom's, but I had to put it in. So uh, this is the Pat McGrath Lab Celestial Odyssey Divine Blush and Glow Trio. This is definitely, in my opinion, one of the best face palettes that have come out this holiday season. If you didn't own these colors from Pat McGrath, I highly recommend this, okay? <laughs> I do. It's a better value, and you get a taste of a couple of different formulas. So not only just do I like these formulas, but the colors she chose to put in here happen to be my favorite colors. Desert Orchid is my all-time favorite blush from Pat McGrath. It's the perfect warm tone shade that has a little bit of a golden sheen to it, but nothing that's going to accentuate texture or anything. I do not like a warm blush. 
The fact that this is my favorite says a lot. And then the Divine Rose Blush is just that perfect everyday rosy blush. These are gonna last forever on your cheek. They're quite easy to apply. Just a solid, solid luxury blush formula. And then I do also love this highlight. This is Golden Nectar. Let me just put it on top. Like I have room for it. I have the space for this. This is also quite smooth on the cheek, just like the MAC. This is a little bit more amped up than the MAC, but anyways, this palette, I just love it because the colors she chose are great, at least in this one, which is Galactic Sun. If you're around my skin tone, you will love the color selection here. The quality is great. I believe these are limited. They aren't sold everywhere and they will probably go away. So this is what I'm talking about with those holiday palettes that I love so much. The value and getting a little taste of multiple things from brands. That's part of why I love the holiday makeup season. And this is that, this is that. Number one and two, I'm like, <laughs> I'm getting a little sweaty about it. I don't know which deserves to be number one and two, but number two, I actually had it in the number one spot right now, but I've just in this moment decided to put it at number two is the Patrick Ta Major Headlines Blush Palette. This is phenomenal. Oh my goodness, if you can get your hands on this. You have to like cream blushes though, but Patrick Ta has a phenomenal blue, blue, cream blush formula. The tones in here, a bit bright for me. So that's why I'm putting it in number two. It's, it's a bit dramatic, especially if you're more on the fair side. It's dark, like it's dark on me. This is gonna work on a huge range of skin tones though. And if you have a deep complexion, you will like this. So I think that that's great, but I love the formula of this so much. The creams are really great. They go good over powder if that's how you like to wear them. The blushes are nice and sheer in this palette. In its individuals, it's the opposite. I like the colors. It's one of my favorite face palettes to come out. I just love this formula so much and I've had a lot of fun playing with this. I've talked about it a lot. I think everybody's talked about it. I don't think anybody dislikes this. The only flaw to it is the colors are a bit bright but you can make it work it's a good formula so number two okay i'm happy with this in number two recommend that i think it's a great one you gotta like blush though if you don't like a good oomph blush on your cheek then maybe don't get that <laughs> okay number one uh, are the hourglass ambient lighting edits i mean these are my number one favorite every year just because they're the best so my little bacon one that i have over here the lighting edit universe i personally prefer this one for my skin tone but i've heard from a lot of you who are around my skin tone you prefer the other one which is great i like that one too but this is my mom's i've given it to her the universe unlocked because she has more of a medium complexion than myself but i i prefer for the formulas in here and the colors that they put in here I think are better because this is their finishing powder that is not in the lighter one. Yeah, I guess universally I recommend this one more because the formulas are a little bit better in here. In the lighter one, I do not like this powder, which kind of makes it a waste considering how expensive this one is, but I like the blush colors in here better and the bronzer I like in here. I don't know. I don't know, they're both great. Nonetheless, I mean, Hourglass's cheek formula, out of this world, top of the line. You really can't get much better than these Hourglass palettes. They just have some of their best formulas and best colors all in one. The Hourglass powders are so lightweight. They just blend with ease over the skin. They almost blur as they go. And what really makes Hourglass stand apart is when you go outside and just the way that the sun will hit your cheeks. It's not unflattering. It's like a filter. I don't know. <laughs> it's hard to explain, but these Hourglass palettes have such a huge and big and great reputation for that reason. And I totally am on the bandwagon with that. It's the best. Always these are the number one favorite holiday palettes that I look the most forward to because they don't disappoint me. They're the best. So I recommend those the most. They're definitely the biggest splurge, but they're one of the all-in-one face palettes that I shared with you and they're just a top of the line formula. And again, that holiday value set that you need to take advantage of this time of year, this is when you can do that. So anyways, there we have it. Those were all of the holiday face palettes ranked for you guys. If you were on the market to see which one you think would be best for you, I hope that this video was helpful for you. With that being said, thank you so much for watching this video and thank you for being subscribed and liking this video. I am in the middle of Vlogmas, so of course, if you subscribe, make sure you tune in for tomorrow's video. Bye guys. I'll I'll catch up with you tomorrow.